Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Kaiser Reich in which we're playing as that their Italian Republic. But let's see how long we actually last as the Italian Republic. History of the Republic of Italy. Defeat and Civil War. If you'd like to skip ahead in, in a couple minutes uh, to get to later on so we're going to keep pushing on, please go right ahead. With the French defeating the collapse of the Italian war effort, the Austrians and the Kingdom of Italy signed an armistice in August of 1919 in which the Austrians were allowed to garrison Lombardy and Venetia until a peace treaty was signed. Mere days after the humiliating announcement of peace, Enraged nationalists proclaimed the new Republic of Italy Milan, which maintained that all treaties signed by the House of Savoy were to be considered null and void. All over it Italy, Republicans and nationalists rose up against the kingdom and even the abdication of King Victor Emmanuel and his son wasn't enough to stop the collapse of royal authority. After pushing the royalists out from much of central northern Italy, it became apparent that the rivalries between different factions in the Republic were too great to reconcile, and what started with small acts of sabotage became a full-fledged conflict between red and white forces, grinding the offenses against the monarchists to a halt. Terrible. Social Democrats would join the coalition. As the Civil War dragged on, the tides of war turned against the whites. And when Austria offered the Republicans help in exchange for joining in a common state with the royals in the south, the Republicans had no choice but to accept or face destruction. After a victory at, at the Po against the Socialists, the white and Austrian forces found themselves forced to swallow the bitter pill for long cooperation. The Republic was obligated to illegally join the Italian Federation under Austrian protection. They also granted significant autonomy to Benito and much influence in the government to the Austrians and the Council of Italian Federation in exchange, however. The Prime Minister of the Republic was granted the title Interim Head of the Italian Federation. This carefully balanced art arrangement fell apart in 1926, however, when the Union of Britain joined the Third International. The Socialists were emboldened and there was a talk of war, but the Austrians made it clear that their forces would make no move to attack the Socialists as the South came under attack. This threw the peninsula into chaos and gave the Sicilians and Savoyards, long dissatisfied with the pro-Milan balance in the Council of the Italian Federation, the chance to walk out. Though the Socialists never attacked, the Council now clearly served no purpose, and its ten-year term was allowed to expire in 1930. While the Hales or halls of civilian power in Milan bustled with activity and ambition, the council chamber now sounds empty. Will it ever fill again? Oh, at a considerable cost of national pride, the Austrian connection slowly improved the economic standing of the Republic, which drew strength from the German military of Europa and Austrian investment. As Italy recovered from the Civil War's destruction, however, many in the Republic began to rule their government to steal with the Habsburgs, and popular support for Italo Babbo's anti Austrian Associazionalia Nazionalista Italiana, Italian National Association, grew in Lombardy freely. freely. If all know, Bonomi's center-left coalition has ruled the country since 1927, but <clears> the <throat> popularity is mainly due to economic stability. And, that should, and should that end, the other parties such as the Estancio Republican Partito Liberale Italiano or the conservative Partito Popular Italiano must, must, might gain enough support to form a government. Should matters get completely out of hand and Federation-aligned forces restore order in the north by force, even the old Council of Italian Federation might take power. One thing all parties have in common is the desire for new free United Italy, however. And many are sure a second risorgimento is coming. Viva Italia! Fine Italian industry. The Institute for Economic Reconstruction, Reconstruction was formed in 1924 to reconstruct our heavy industry after the Civil War. We should give it more funding so that we may continue to help our nation's industry. And we're going to go this way. Military contracts, because I want that research slot. To spur economic activity. While some materially arming our military, we should issue additional small arms contracts to further uh, smaller armaments facilities. Nice. Because stuff is not bad. Ooh. More, better uh, pocket stuff should be really good to get. It's not that much, but that's be good to get. Military economy. Military factories are good. Market protection, of course. Black Monday's over. Ooh. So we're going to beeline to this one. Getting another research slot is super, super good. But we do have 10 divisions here, and they're not terrible. 5 divisions of 18 combo with some artillery. 3 divisions of 18 combo with without artillery. And 2 divisions of mountaineers, which is not too bad. 12 combo with, which is... It is what it is, you know. We have a small little navy, which is not terrible either. And we'll do that, and then we'll do that. And now we have no fuel. Yay! Who cares about Afghanistan? Research Institutes. Oh, Black Monday. Our research and development apparatus has fallen into disrepair. We must not allow our enemies to possess a techno technological advantage. Let us found a new state research institute. Okay, China's falling apart. How great. How great. Of course, we're still a puppet, so... Let's see what happens. The Austrian withdrawal. Black Monday hit Austria. The Austrian Empire. Hard. The markets have plunged so low that many Austrian stockholders have Italian. Italian, Austro Italian companies have panicked and sold countless bonds to native Italians, weakening the Austrian stranglehold over uh, our economy. Not only have we rid ourselves of foreign economic influence, the Austro Hungarian Reichs, uh, Reichskriegs Minister has recalled the division station in our territory, unable to afford the financial burden of keeping us safe that for, what for many in Vienna foolishly believed to be an empty social threat. For good or ill, the Italian Republic is now effectively independent of Austrian domination, at least until they regain their full strength. Many towns are worried about whether or not this will leave us exposed to attack by the Socialist Republic of Italy. A war right now would be a terrible prospect. Is this a step towards free Italy? Add Italian influence? Okay. Black money hits the Republic. The economic crisis that started in Germany has spiraled out of control and spread to Italy. The Republic of Italy's prosperity has been shattered by Black Monday, and the confidence of the government has been shaken. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. 
That's not good, but we still have Austrian influence, which sucks. But we're basically independent now, so wait, wait, why do we have that then? Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is, but after military contracts. Because <sighs> we can do Rodolfo Graziani's policy for better logistics, Efort Ettore Bastico's policy for better attack, or Emilio de Bono's policy for better planning. I would, honestly, I'll probably go with attack. I want more defense, but okay, whatever. Um, there's not really much here about Black Monday, so... Research Institutes, yes. That's still the way we want to go. We're going to get 0.9 political power every single day, which is not good. We're also ally with the Austrians. Huh. Remove Austrian influence. Oh, I, I was thinking about playing as Mexico too sometime, but we'll see. That'd be good to do. Eventually. KMT Indian throat. Oh! Huh. Social Democrats without a lot of stuff there. Oh, you actually have a unique focus tree. Okay. Never play this a bit. Maybe we'll play this zone sometime. That sounds like fun. Are we done training? Oh, we didn't even start training. Okay. Start training. Huh. Maybe we should start training now. Uh, Navy wise, we're out of fuel, which sucks, but whatever. Um, go and repair for now. And we do have a few planes, but not many. We have like 50 fighters max. Alright, well. Research Institutes. Is there anything we can do about Black Monday? Um, we have the options here for the past. You know, the Republic survives, all in power, or a &I in power. Restoration, New Venetian Arsenal, Military's Economy, Defense Contracts. Yeah, we'll probably go with the Defense Contracts. Then breaks out. The arms Industry is an important economic sector. By working closely with contractors and offering new contracts, we can encourage expansion of many armaments facilities. Which is a good thing. A very good thing, actually. Hey. Well, that's going to take a while to do, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. If anything, I definitely want to get to early mobilization so we can start producing a little bit faster. That's not bad for us right now, but still. The other game is 48, which is not pretty good. Planes are flying around in the air. They should be at least... Yes. 47. Karina Mazzona Negrona sets a new record. The famed Italian aviator Karina Masona Negron has set a new record for aviation by flying up to 12,043 meters in her biplane and breaking a new record. A personal friend of Italo Balbo himself, her new records made her popular within the Republic, especially in the national circles. A new record for Italy. A Republican revolution in Iran. Social Democrats. Oh, you actually have another... You, you focus, I should play as Iran sometime. There's so many nations I, we can really play as. And I always forget. We'll do that and then we'll come out down here and grab someone else. Um, that's not terrible, actually. Supply range. What does supply range mean, huh? How far away supply can go, I guess? Ooh, this is good. Supply consumption defense. Attack, I like to attack. I, pr I always prefer, as much as like getting more defense, I get, prefer getting more organization, because that helps you on attack as well. So, maybe that's just me. A lot of constitutional victories here and there, huh? What are you missing? Guns? Artillery's not bad. I've never played a South American Kaiserreich, I think. I mean, Kaiser Redux. We need a navy leader guy. Alberto, Alberto. Anyone want to throw you anything I want to throw on Alberto? Not really, no. So we basically probably have to wait till 1937 May to have elections, or at least see what's going to happen. So we'll see what happens because some defense contracts in the meantime. Uh, that's okay. Uh, that's not bad. Oh, that's this one too. Not bad. Some video. Eh, I got a couple days first, and we're gonna read the next focus after that. Probably go with construction. Construction is always good. 96 days. Improved methods and materials allow us to construct buildings, both civilian and military, faster. faster. Yeah. Nice. Gabriela Angelini solo flight. Gabriela Gabi Angelini has completed, just completed her solo trip from Delhi. Already famous for visiting eight different countries, the young aviator has become one of the most popular figures within Italy. At 25 years old, she has captivated the people within the Republic and even from the outside of the Republic. La Corriere della Sera, the squad is riding. This young Italian girl showed her how females can be daring and not lose any other true exquisite femininity. Three cheers for Gabi Angelini. Nice. Industrial improvements. Much of our nation's industry lies in disrepair, and those factors which still function have become increasingly archaic. To deal with this problem, we should initiate a state sponsored program of factory modernization. So, I guess we just have to deal with the Black Monday effects? That's seriously it. There's nothing else we could do. <clears throat> well, there's that over here. Let's pause it real quick. Right there. We gotta wait. 
During the historic epic film, Lagan Lagano was re released across the Republic to widespread acclaim. The film tells the story the film tells the story of the Holy Roman Emperor Barbarossa and his attempt to control Italy, leading to the creation of the Lombard League in the Battle of Lagano. It was directed by Romolo Marcellini and stars Fosco Gia Giacchi, Licia Ferida, and Osvaldo Valentin uh, Val Valentini Valentina. And it's funded by the ANI. Due to obvious parallels with the Austrian Empire, it's drawn criticism for the Austrians despite that the, the Italian public seems to enjoy the film. Today we explore the Black League from Lombardy. Oh, pretty good. Nice. No more manpower. Not nice. Um, anything else we can do here? Support public you know, social liberalism. Get more trains. We needed 10. We have 11 in stockpile, so that's okay. Trains are fine. Coup d'etat on Siam. Some more motorized, probably. Get some engineers eventually. That would be good. Not bad. Defense contracts. Uh, Austrian influence kind of sucks, though. Not bad. Get more, could get more manpower as well, but we'll wait. Less than 10 million people live here in Italy right now, which kind of sucks. Um, electronics would be good. Civilian factories would be very nice to get, though. Probably go that way. Create the Autostrada. The Autostrada was envisioned as a system of wide roadways linking major cities. Well, Civil War halted plans for construction. We now possess the ability to build at least part of the original system. Nice. Could keep training and report one thing of fuel, maybe. From Romania. Romania. So we actually might get more fuel now, huh? Hear that. Not bad. Sheng Ching Tian Guo. Oh, they seem to be doing okay over there. Oh, yeah, Kamul. Oh, no. Hami Prefecture. Not even Kamul Khanate. Long Zilin. Legacy of Musquad. Musquad? Musquad. Yulbar's Doctrine and then Han Immigration. Alright. If the Austrians want to attack, hopefully they can hold them off, maybe? At least be my hope. For now, um, as much as I want to get all these guys, we'll go with organization, supply consumption. Just in case, you never know. But that does give us way more daily army XP. Way more, compared to what it used to be. Alright, so after that one, yeah, create the autos and support the auto industry. It has been a hotbed of automotive innovation since the industry's birth. We should seize its advantage and implement substantial subsidies for the auto industry with the aim of increasing production. Alright everyone, so it's now April 6, 1937. I've done a couple more uh, focuses, such as modernized agriculture. But uh, let's go at least uh, get that one done. Um, yeah, modernized agriculture. The many small farm estates of the countryside not only still bear damage from the Civil War, but also been unable to adopt new agricultural technologies and methods of cultivation. We should subsidize import of modern agriculture equipment to jumpstart this process. Absolutely. Uh, grab some railway guns, because why not? Those are kind of cool. I uh, got some other ones we did as well. Thank you for armored trains. Thank you very much. I've uh, done create the Instituto Lucha. Many dissidents would surely put aside their anger if only they could be shown the truth. To show them our undeniable benevolence, we should establish a department dedicated to popular enlightenment and morality through means of new forms of mass media. Militarized economy. The economy and the military must not be at odds. They must be like two complementary gears in a greater machine. New Venetian arsenal. Venice was once home to the Europe's largest shipyards, and its dockyards are rife still for expansion. Let's found a new naval arsenal in Venice. Nice. And America's exploded already into civil war, but you know what else is new? We have 16 divisions, and they do okay. They do all right. We have no fuel now. We're running out of fuel just because we're training our ships again, just because I want to get as much naval XP as possible. Getting as much XP as possible, in my opinion, is pretty important. But the Palazzo Mezzanotta. In Milan, the Palazzo Mezzanotta was unveiled today. The Palazzo Mezzanotta is to be a replacement for the old stock exchange of the Republic, uh, designed by a tasteful mixture of neoclassical and modern architecture. Oh, the general election too, look at that. Uh, with Black Monday now dissipating, the Balazzo Mezzanotta has already been considered the principal stock exchange in Italy. Money is good, but the general election. Today, the Italian people uh, chose new parliament. The election is tightly fine and very well likely to decide the course of Italy for the next few, few, near future, with four predicted outcomes. Firstly, the Liberal Democratic Coalition under Prime Minister Bonomi can continue, or a Liberal Coalition led by the Aranti Aristoc Autocratic and Center Left Liberal Italiano Party could ride to victory. Alternatively, a Conservative Coalition led by the Popular. Uh, Italiano could be victorious, but few can afford to forget the surprisingly popular Asocionazia, Nacionalista Italiano, who do people choose? Well, we'll go this way, because someone recommended this on my Discord server. Have I played this show before? I might have. Hey, Balbo. Dictator. Cool. A and I power. The Asocionazia Nacionalista Italiano have taken power within the Republic and begun to transform Italy into a legionary state as it promised to destroy all of Italy's enemies and restore Italy to greatness. Purge Red Menace. Italian militarism. Not bad. Uh, that would help out with more... 
stuff here. More war sprites should be the same. Before economic battles. Our nation lies in ruin. Not for the failure of any nationalistically minded Italian, but for the actions of so many buffoons who rolled over. We must never again be vulnerable to foreign incompetence. Each of the four of the most major issues facing our nation should be fought and defeated in turn. Have I played this before? Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I can't remember anymore. Also, I did make sure that we... Ooh. Did get this guy. We did get Astaldi, so we'll get faster civilian construction speed. Ooh. We're fighting Hungarians. Nice. Crisis on the Danube. Very good. That's what we like to see. Um, we need wait. We got quite a few guns. Artillery pieces not bad. Uh, and you guys are 18 combat, which is, which is the division we want. You guys are three combat width. The Order of the Roman Eagle. I'll convert you to this one. We need more artillery manpower. The Order of the Roman Eagle has been created to reward people who brought merit to Italy. It's considered the highest award that any person can receive in the service of the country. The new order will help inspire people to do all their duty for Italy. Let us honor these men. Yes, absolutely. We get one, over one political power every day. The federal collapse. Very nice. Of course, new farms. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh. Well, it goes Denver, too. Seven yard crisis resolved. So Hungary is, well, Hungarian. And Bulgaria is Bulgarian. Oh, the, oh. I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. Albert. Oh. They joined. Switzerland joins the Reichspact. And the Belgians joined the Entente. I don't know if I've ever seen that one actually happen before. I should play Switzerland sometimes, too. Belgium joined the Entente. I was not expecting that. Holy cow. Well, these guys are doing fine for now. Um, get another dockyard would be very nice, too. Not much. I'll say about that. Also, I did use some of the naval XP and tried to make a better cruiser hull. You know, and, oh, honestly, we should convert this to shield. There you go. That's better. That's better. Mongolia Maklik. Maklik in Tibet. Construction. War between Hui and Buddhists. Nice. Um, anything else here? Probably want to grab some of that. We might... Oh, so a company behind it would be bad. Logistics might be really good as well. We'll see. And let's come over here now. For economic battles. Ooh, first of naval doctrines. Battleships, sure, why not? Subs are probably better, but whatever. Uh, create the Unitary Republic. Attack the Austrians. Italian militarism. Uh, that's not bad. Purge Red Menace. Yeah, that gives more political power. Democracy is a sham, as institutions are incapable of withstanding socialist infiltration. All civil servants must be comprehensively evaluated, and if any association with a socialist organization of any kind can be found, they must be immediately removed from their post. That's a really boost us up quite a bit, which is going to be great. I think independence is fine. How much artillery do we have? We have quite a bit. Um. Yeah, we have like no support equipment, which sucks. I hope for the Mountaineers. Ah, uh, they're doing okay. I want more army XP though. Uh, honestly, going down any further for this would not be worth it, so... Yeah, Hungarians are definitely losing. I don't think we send any volunteers anybody, because we don't have 30 divisions. Never mind, we can. My bad. Okay. Well, you know what? We can send one guy over. Why not? Totalists? Nice. Uh, probably American Union States is the one we probably like the most... We don't like any of these guys, actually. Except you guys the most, probably, so. There you go. Alright, not bad. Might give us some slight army XP. We'll see. Maybe. We have no manpower. You know what? As much as I want to wait for the other stuff, go limited conscription for now. That'll be better. Oh, we're actually repairing more, huh? Well, not bad. 0.38 every day is pretty decent. Ooh. And the guy should be getting over there very soon as we're mobilizing a little bit more, 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 more. Please don't get cut off. Maybe you want to attack there and cut this division off and kill them off, so. That's going to be pretty difficult to do. Let's see, you guys will be led by this guy. Um, I just want you to hold. That's pretty much what I want you to do. Commander. Uh, fight in the Virginies. Maybe over here, perhaps? It's going to be somewhat mountainous and swampy, so good luck. <coughs> Excuse me, the Reds will probably win in the end, though, but we'll see. I don't mind attacking here, because they will get attacked, but still. 
It wasn't a big bush war, very cool. Catalysts. Don't want to move, okay then. Thanks guys, four economic battles. Yeah, we need more military factories. We got at least one more manpower now, which is nice. Are you guys actually moving or... No, you're not. Why are you not moving? some sort of event here. Oh, actually, it's not bad over there. I would like to help out up there, but we can just hang out here and hold, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, support the attack. Do what you can down there. 50 army XP is nice. Tell the militarism? I thought this was supposed to fire. The battle for the leader. Our nation could be attacked at any moment. All chief sons of Italy must always be vigilant, ready to defend their nation at a moment's notice. We should do whatever we can to remind the people of their duty. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alberto. Alright, alright. Very good job, guys. Um, oh, I guess we can't leave this one if we want to hold on to that style. Constitution is pretty bad, so you know what? Screw it. The battle for the litter. The first four of the economic battles. It Designed to fix the economy, the battle for the leader will be stabilizing the currency of the Republic. As all battles are, it may be a struggle by stabilizing the currency of the Republic. We will be able to hold and fulfill our Italian duty, our Italian destiny. I mean, more stability is not a bad thing. How about here? Be very coordinated on our attacks. Because I know they want, definitely want to attack there, so. And they already have, so. Railway guns, alright. Chilean Argentinian War. Uh, recon, signal companies. Grab field hospitals. We might actually need those this time around. I don't want to attack there because that looks pretty bad. Anywhere else that they might be attacking? Ah. Here. Frankfurt. We'll see. Then. Well, through. Uh, you could probably do well there, too. Ah, you get attacked here, too. Alright, then. Whatever. Armor trains. We just need more motorized. I don't want to lower it down by one, because we will need all those extra guns anyway, so... Italian militarism. I wish I, could, I made it so that we could attack the Austrians while they're attacking the uh, Hungarians, but... Yeah, it's not going to work out like that right now. Yeah, it's not going to work out like that. How are you doing over here? Doing okay? You learn anything? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You guys are still getting attacked over there, which is not good. Just a little for now, that's fine. You learn anything? Yeah, 1%, 0%. Alright. Still learning though, which is good. Salamanca. Nice. If you might get encircled, but it could be worth it. Battle for the lamb. Second economic battle. Uh, the battle for the lamb will bring transformation to the land itself. Swamps and marshes shall be drained. Farmland will be irrigated. And the people will be encouraged to move. The country in order helped our agriculture thrive. Viva Italia. Oh, nice. Even better supply consumption, too. That's pretty good. And create the Unitary Republic. The Republic granted too much autonomy to its member states, the relics of the vestiges of Austrian influence and federation. Times come and bosh your rise and place all power within the central government's hands. Even though this might very well mean a fight with those whose autonomy we strip away. Oh, that was so close. Over here. Could have been circled them, but whatever. You go right there still. So you can still do really well. Maybe. You know, they're going to do that. Just don't do that. Yeah. They're right there. Come on, man.
How would we lose here? Uh, they must be defending in a mountain. Oh, they got tanks there. That makes sense. They leave. We attack there. Get them that way. Charleston. You might be able to still help, hang out and help out. That time. Militarism. Very nice. Oh, crap. That sucks. Charles Volunteers. They threw another division as well, but whatever. It's fine. It happens. Uh, Opera Nacional de Balida. The Operation Nacional de Balida was recently created by the order by El Duce. Taking his name from the nickname of the Italian boy, which started a revolt against Habsburg forces during the War of Austrian Succession. The organization is similar to the scouting group for children. The organization has two similar structures, one for boys and other for girls, with both being divided into three groups or different age brackets. The organization is to help prepare the youth future youth to the roles they, they will have within society, as well as make sure they are loyal Italians. Book and rifle, perfect Italian. The Battle for Grain. Following the success of the Battle of Land comes the Battle for Grain. The new farmlands will be made to support the growing population of Italy and our armies. An army marches on its stomach after all, and the Ar Italian army will be marching to war. Leave Italia. Nice. Very nice. Union volunteers. Yeah, just get as much army XP as possible. Learn, 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 learn. And when you're done learning, learn a little bit more. They are trying to really hit us hard. Operación Nacional de Polavoro. Uh, this was a national recreation club. has been created by the decree by El Duce. The OND supports a number of recreational activities for the people to help boost tourism, as well as ensure the loyalty of citizens to the Italian state. Italian culture from opera plays and music to book clubs and vacations through the countryside sponsored by the OND. It's quickly proven to be highly popular without the Republic. Nice. Awesome, 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 awesome. Creation of the OVRA. In order to protect the Republicans all the time from all threats, the Organización per la Vigilancia e la Repression del Antinacionalismo, so, or op Organization for Vigilance Repression of Antinationalism, or OVRA, for sure has been created. The OVRA will function as a secret police for the Republic and make sure that all those within the Republic that dare betray the Italian state will be severely punished. Everything within the state, nothing off the side of the state, nothing against the state. Nice. Now that's what we like to see here on the channel. After this one, more, more of that would be bad. 37, grab some logistic companies as well, probably. Um, how are we doing down here? Did we lose that battle yet? No, not yet. Well, that's good. Uh, loyal military. Argentina. Oh, we need. Oh. Italian liberation call. War go. Oh, that's really good to do. Persian opposition, stability, corporate alliance is not bad. Italy reborn has been reunited. Economic planning, though. Market protection. A new economy. Defense contracts. Well, we can wait for that, some of that stuff. Um, if we can move fast enough, that'd be really good. 53% is pretty good as well. The battle for the births. The final of the economic battles is the battle for the births. It's a program designed to help couples have more children. The policies include paid maternal paternal leave for families and tax benefits and loans for having children, while at the same time, the government will only hire men and women who are married. So, through such a policy, the future generations of Italy shall be created and secured. Be Italia. There's some consumer goods, but that's okay. Um, I want to purge the opposition to get even more daily pickle power. Wait, does that even... Yeah, it, it does affect it, so... Some misguided fools have been loath to abandon their important democratic ideals since they cannot be easily persuaded to adopt a nationalist outlook. They should be removed from the civil service and from corporate leadership. As they should. Alright, so Austrian Empire is looking pretty Austrian. Um, if we could hold here, that'd be great. There's no guarantee that we can. Um... We're going to go with superior firepower for this campaign. So, I want more artillery attack and defense. So, uh, Bastico, Gaba. I like the name Gaba. That was produced more. You know, we're going to need a lot of defense. I want more soft attack. Break is going to be good too. Artillery research speed. I'll go do it for now. Why not? Screw it. You get some anti air as well. We'll see. Collins Austin from office. Green or blue. The official colors of the Italian football team have been blue, descended from the colors of the Kingdom of Italy. However, now that we're in power, we have the ability to finally change the colors away from green to blue, or blue to green to better reflect the colors of Italy instead. Instead, uh, uh, instead of the House of Savoy. However, this will like so, like I said, never fancy. We like the color blue. Switch colors. As much as blue is my favorite color, we gotta switch it. Switch her around. Uh, 
So what's Austria going to be doing now? Because I, I don't want to go to war with them while we're kind of still not doing too much here. Oh, they're still attacking us, which is fine. New Unitary Republic. You lose stability and political power. We could really use corporate militarism now. Unitary Republic. The law has been passed. And swiftly in the capital. Uh, and resetting the rights and autonomy is enjoyed by Lombardy and Venetia. Or indeed, any state that is a part of the Republic. The ANI Party line is that this is for the good of the country, an explanation which also applies to the suspension of future elections. Italy cannot afford to weaken itself to greed and outside loyalties, not now, perhaps not ever. This news has not gone over well in Venetia, however, where the state legislatures have expressed fear is what they see as a power grab by the central government. Already people are taken to the streets, and we expect more formal action to be taken in the days to come. That's how this month's nothing in riots in Venice. Opposition to the Unitary Republic has grown throughout Italy, with much of it concentrated in the city of Venice. Their Partito Republicano Veneto leader, Giuseppe Volpi, has given fire speeches denouncing the ANI and calling on loyal Venetians to rise up and fight against its tyranny. Riots have broken out throughout the country with violence concentrated against the central government, offices, and troops. Officials fear it's just a matter of days before the state legislature takes a vote on whether or not to withdraw from the Republic. As if we would allow such a thing. As if. And if we're at war, we go search war economy, right? Um, is there anything else? 15% is not bad. Venice will probably rise up. And. We're going to join the Entente. The Venetian Revolt, of course. As predicting the vote in Venice with a controlling Partito Republicano Veneto voting unanimously in favor, as did the de declaration of the opposition to the Unitary Republic. Until and if state rights are restored, they will see the Republic of Venice separate from the Legionnaire Italy. Last minute talks are being held, but at the moment all government troops are being ordered out of Venetia and militia forces are quickly being assembled, most likely with aid and assistance by the Austrians. How dare you rebel against us? Venetian admirals join the revolt. The Venetian admirals Alberto Dazzara and Giuseppe Fiorazzavanzo have decided to join the revolt against authorities that declare government as tyrannical. Unfortunately, they have managed to take the Italian fleet with them. That should pay for the treachery. Oh, crap. Come on, let us go. War with Venice. Venetian rebellion grows even worse than armed militias. Are forcing lo out loyal and patriotic Italians. This cannot stand. We must move quickly if we do not demonstrate with a matter of months that we have the situation under control. We are on the risk of interventions by the Austrians are far worse to the Social Republic of Italy, feeling bold enough to attack without drawing international ire. Time to put these Venetians in their place. We don't even have an airbase. Oh, we do. That's good. That's what we do. That's good. That's fine. There we go. We're going to force the attack. We must have Venice. Actually, before they die, do they have a unique focus tree? I don't think they do. Giuseppe Volpi. Do they have emergency Austrian influence? Oh, they do have a unique focus tree. I didn't know that. It's not that. It doesn't look that like great, but, you know, still. Uh, Venetian Navy capture. With the capture of Venice, the rebellion Venetian Navy is nowhere to turn. Admirals de Zara and Fiora Vanzo have been arrested and their ships turned back over to Italian control. So much for the revolt. Oh, we got him. Yay. Good job, guys. What worthless scum suckers. Send in the army. What's this? The nations have risen up against the Italian government. We must prove that we are able to deal with them quickly. Let us enable us to grow confident that we are weak enough for them to step in and uh, interfere. Well, once selected. Oh, attack the Austrians. Like a vampire of legend, the Austrian Empire has slowly drained the life from us. If we ever truly reassert ourselves internally and internationally, the Austrians must be vanquished. Oh, we'll go straight to war with them. A letter of congratulations to the most esteemed Duce Italo Balbo, in the name of the King of Romania. We congratulate you on the successful assertion of control in your nation. While your Republican sympathies are well known, this should not prevent positive relations between our two nations. Um, <clears throat> owing to our shared interest in containing the Austrian Goliath and our shared ideological un underpinnings, we hereby invite you to enter your cabinet on a state visit to Romania in order to discuss matters of the state beneficial to, to our two nations and further nurture relations between our two great peoples. Sign His Majesty the King of Romania, Carol II, President of the Council of Ministers Corneliu Zilia Condrinu, Minister of Foreign Affairs I Ion Mota, 
Minister of Internal Affairs, Alexandru Cantacuzino. We're united in fate. As we should be. Moscow Accord. I do want to attack them, but we'll see. The corporate state, by decree of El Duce himself. The National Council of Corporations has been created. The council is to be organized along corporate lines with the ten different sectors, with ministers representing the various sectors of the economy. In official decrees describes the National Council of Corporations and is the Italian economy with what the staff is in the armed forces, the thinking brain which prepares and coordinates. Avanti Italia. Uh, attacking them now would probably be a bad idea. I kind of I do want to attack them now, though. Oh, Hungary and Transylvania's here, too. Oh, wow. They literally got some serious land. Holy crap. Nice hat, dude. How about Voss? No unique focus tree, of course. Um, Loyal military? You can move fast enough to this one. That'd be really flipping good. Centralized power. Of course, I do want to get military factories, but we'll see. Loyalty, loyal military would be very good, though. And we get through a lot of land auctions when we go this route, so. Of course, we can do Italian armored cars. We can do artillery effort, which we're going to go down anyways. And then planning schools, so. We'll see about that. But after this one, Italian liberation is not bad. But we, don't have to, we can wait for that one. I'll get more factories. Nice. The natural human urge is to profit and it succeeds by no means bad, but it must be harnessed harnessed to serve the interests of the people in the nation. We should approach businesses large and small which have shown themselves to be patriotic and begin to integrate them into the apparatus of the state. Nice. Um, head up back down here if you can. Yeah. Excavation. Happy ninety three everybody. Let's grab some of this. Oh, crap. Well, maybe we'll go to war sooner than I thought. Just in case we'll do that then. Good hospitals. Grab some of this too. Corporate militarism. A corporate ally should be put to work building a new series of state armaments factories. Nice. Very good. We still don't have enough here, though. Put any guns, which is good. Artillery would be better. I do want to attack him, but still. Dare they rebel against us. Yeah, they attack us. We won't probably do very well here. The new Unitary Republic. That's why we need more war sports for more defense on core territory. Oh, it's not a whole bunch more, but I'll take any bit, little bit we can get. Uh, how are we doing down here? Oh, what? You're, you're up here. Can you actually win here? No, probably not. Yeah, we'll see. Is there a way they could go to war with us, maybe? I don't know. Maine's doing relatively okay. Bulgaria's still holding out pretty darn well. They don't, they're really taking out the uh, them Greek boys. Don't get me wrong, it's good for them and all, but still. Cool. LVRA. I think we'll wait to go to war with them. We'll do more milita corporate militarism. Maybe do a little bit of centralized power to get rid of that stuff hurting us. Loyal military would be really good. I mean, all this stuff is very good to do. But I'm probably going to go with... Honestly, we could probably use more attack. Planning's nice and all. Probably go with Ettore Pastico's policy. Modern weapons enable an enemy's destruction from afar. We must augment our armed force with a plethora of artillery and other support equipment. And begin modernization. There goes Greece. Oh, wow. Bulgaria took him out. With the army now guided by central doctrine, we can begin all overall destruction and composition. And maybe even what else? High commander forms? The Italian military high command was left fractured with the division of the land itself. Yet in the time since its structures remain unchanged. Let's reorganize a high commander that demands of our current situation. And we'll do three of those. Centralized power, we're gonna do that one. Loyal military. Yeah, I'll give that to you. Political challenges from those within the armed force have toppled countless regimes to ensure loyalty. We should offer low level positions or in our civilian administration to generals and offer other political favors. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably go to war with the Austrians and maybe more Italians. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.